Would you believe that they played golf in the 1920s? Really? I don't know when golfing started, but I know it was around. And it's around today. Seems like everywhere you turn, you see a golf green. Be that as it may, in 1920, there was a man, Bobby Jones. He was the talk of the town so far as golfing was concerned. He was so good at the game that he actually made a film about him entitled Bobby Jones, Stroke of Genius. Wow. And on top of that, he was only an amateur, if you can imagine it. One day a professional golfer asked him, why didn't you turn to be a professional and make a ton of money? Jones answered by explaining that the word amateur comes from a Latin word amo, meaning to love. And there was the answer, plain and simple. He played golf because he loved the game. That was all there was to it. He played golf because he loved it. I got to thinking that's precisely the reasons Christians serve Jesus, even die for him. We don't serve Jesus to make money or get fame and fortune. No, we serve Jesus because we love him. That's exactly what St. Paul did. He gave all to Jesus, even to the point of giving his life because he loved him. Listen to Paul as he writes to the Christians at Corinth. But the love of Christ constraineth us because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. That word constraineth should be translated compels us. So it can be rendered, for the love of Christ compels us. I surely don't want to go to hell, but when I gave my life to Jesus, it wasn't the fear of hell, but the love of Jesus that drew me. As a very young boy, the earliest memories of life I have is my angel mother reading the Bible stories at bedtime, tucking me into bed, saying a prayer, and giving me a kiss. She taught me about how wonderful Jesus was, how kind and loving and caring. She taught me about how this wonderful, loving Jesus suffered and died for my sins. You know what? As a little boy, I loved Jesus before I knew him. And then it happened. Christian Missionary Alliance pastor came to our schoolhouse. He held revival meetings I went forward and accepted Jesus at the very first invitation. I was 10 years old when I received Jesus into my life, and now I'm over 84 years, and I love Jesus more than I ever have, and serving him is the delight of my life. That's what Jesus was telling us when he said, If you love me, keep my commandments. John 14, verse 15. So we serve Jesus, not that we fear hell, but that we love Jesus. Friend, if you don't love Jesus, it's because you don't know him. Open your heart to the Savior. Open your heart to the love of God. If you listen, you'll hear him. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him. I'll sup with him or fellowship with him and he with me. Revelation 3, verse 20. Come to Jesus. He loves you. And dear Heavenly Father, we love Jesus too. And we'll serve him as long as we live. And someday we'll meet him face to face. And won't that be something? Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.